We've got some blastable news today about the S Pen and camera on the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra. According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to include the S Pen, though it's not yet confirmed whether it will come with Bluetooth connectivity. If Bluetooth support does return, some existing features may still be unavailable. This new leak suggests the S Pen will continue with the S26 Ultra, welcome news after months of concern among fans about its future. Samsung previously removed Bluetooth support from the S25 Ultra's S Pen, and even dropped the stylus entirely from the Galaxy Z Fold 7. These moves sparked doubts about whether the S Pen would survive, but Tipster Ice Universe claims the S26 Ultra will still include a dedicated slot. On the camera side, Ice Universe also revealed that the Galaxy S26 Ultra's camera bump measures 4.5mm, nearly double the 2.4mm bump of the S25 Ultra. This increase is due to the phone's slimmer 7.9mm frame and the inclusion of a wider aperture lens compared to its predecessor. Reportedly, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature 200 megapixel main camera with OIS and f/1.4 aperture, 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor with autofocus, 12 megapixel telephoto lens at f/2.4, 50 megapixel telephoto lens with f/2.9 aperture and OIS. The primary and telephoto cameras are expected to benefit from wider aperture lenses, allowing more light intake. This should result in sharper details, reduced noise, and brighter overall images. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Well-known tipster Ice Universe has just revealed some interesting details about the Galaxy S26 Ultra's design, focusing on its frame and thickness. Let's start with the measurements. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is said to be just 7.9 millimeters thick, making it slimmer than Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max, which measures around 8.725 millimeters. This means Samsung is once again aiming for a sleeker and more lightweight feel compared to its biggest rival. But that's not all. When compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the new S26 Ultra shows some subtle yet noticeable changes in its frame design. The middle frame on the front is now more rounded, unlike the sharper, boxier edges of the S25 Ultra. This should make the phone more comfortable to hold, while still keeping the premium flat design Samsung introduced with the S25 Ultra. From the side-by-side -side images, you can clearly see that the corners of the S26 Ultra look smoother and less aggressive. It's a small adjustment, but one that could improve the overall in-hand experience. To sum it up, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be thinner, sleeker, and more ergonomic than its predecessor, while also keeping an edge over Apple in terms of design refinement. What do you think? Do you prefer the sharper look of the S25 Ultra, or the more rounded feel of the S26 Ultra? Let me know in the comments section. We have some glassable news today about the Galaxy S26 series, especially the S26 Ultra. First of all, a new image of the Galaxy S26 Ultra dummy unit has surfaced, directly compared with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, shared by Tipster, the One CID. Samsung clearly wants Plus users to consider upgrading to the S26 Ultra. Meanwhile, Ice Universe has shared an image comparing the displays of the Galaxy S26 Ultra and the Xiaomi 16 Pro. Unfortunately, the bezel on the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra has made little progress likely to save costs and follow Apple's approach, since the iPhone 17 Pro's bezels also haven't improved. On the other hand, the Xiaomi 16 Pro adopts the most advanced technology in the industry, significantly reducing bezel width. ICE even predicts that the global sales of the Xiaomi 16 series could directly threaten the Galaxy S26 Ultra and S26 Edge for the first time. Earlier, I shared renders of the Galaxy S26 series front design, though those contain some inaccuracies. This time, however, ICE has released another set of CAD-based renders of the Galaxy S26 Ultra. He explained, Using the new graphic tool, I spent hours making repeated adjustments just to create this set of Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra renderings based on accurate CAD data with precise R angles and bezels. In another post, Ice Universe shared an image and addressed fan feedback, saying some pointed out that the corners of his renderings looked unnatural. He explained the reason. 
The rounded rectangles used in smartphone designs and official renderings are not standard ones. They aren't simply made with four straight lines and four arcs. Instead, they use a continuous smooth curve to connect the curvatures at the joints. Since all of ICE's previous renderings were created in PowerPoint, which doesn't support this smooth curve function, the results looked unnatural on the left side of the image. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFSS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120, and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first-ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage, UFSS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest